Hi, I'm David Thompson from roundtech.co.nr and this is going to be a video on how to install Windows XP or Windows 7 or even Windows Vista on a netbook. This will also apply to nettop PCs and any other device which is a laptop based which does not have a CD DVD drive because they are so small. So I'm going to be installing Windows XP on this model and I am going to be using a flash drive as I have here. Your device has to be supported to boot from a flash drive as most netbooks do support booting from a flash drive. There is another way to do it by getting an external drive but they start at £40 and you could just use this £7 English pounds flash drive. This is how much I bought this from. Not every flash drive supports booting from it. So I suggest you get a Kingston or Kingston Data Traveller as they are the best. So get them to boot from. They're only cheap. This is a 4 gigabyte. Do not get a 2 gigabyte if you want to boot Windows 7 off of it, the install. So I'm going to head over to a screencast in a minute. And I'm going to show you how to install it on this flash drive in a very, very simple way by just doing a few clicks. Another thing you will need for this process is a legit Windows XP disk, as I have mine already extracted on my computer. So you will need a legit copy of Windows, a flash drive, and of course, your device. So I'm going to switch over to the screencast now, and we'll take a look. So here I have the EPC turned off at the moment and I have the power cable in the back. Make sure you have that in because we're installing an operating system. And here, let the camera focus, is my Kingston flash drive. So if I put the camera down, what we're going to do is we're going to boot it up and we're going to press escape, F2 or F8, whatever the default button is to get into your BIOS to boot to a flash drive. So here I have the option, I don't know if you can see, to boot from the data traveler, the hard drive, or the network. So I'm going to click boot from the data traveler. Just here, I will have a list of all different things so the first one I want to select is the first, the very first one, text mode setup, boot from flash drive again after finished. So I'm going to boot that one by pressing enter. So as you can see, Windows Setup has entered. It's entered into the Windows Setup and it's just loading a bunch of files as you can see there. So as you can see, it's now saying setup is starting Windows, and it's copying more files. So here, I've got a screen here, and it says to install Windows XP on the partition selected, press enter or whatever. So what I want to press is I'm going to press enter. Here, I have quite a few partitions. If you have Ubuntu or Lin any Linux distro on it, that you just need to delete every last partition that is important delete all the partitions so every single partition so what I'm going to do is partition 1 NTFS I'm going to press the delete button on that by pressing D and then pressing L to confirm it then here is another one on the C drive which I'm also going to delete by pressing D Oh, that one, I've already deleted that one. So they're both deleted. So 
what I'm going to do is press enter on that one format the partition using NTFS file system quick so I'm going to select the quick one for speed so I've selected that and what I'm going to do now is click enter so as you can see it's formatting the drive this may take a range between five minutes to quite a very long time and so will the copying files now so it's checking drive D and as you can see that has done it very very quickly that of course is due to this being SSD so the files will copy very quickly it may take longer if you have a hard drive in your netbook so it's copying more files again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return once it's finished copying these files and we will resume from there. As you can see here it has reached 99% and it should be going on to 100% very shortly so if you can see there, 99% I apologise for the quality of this video so as you can see it says please wait while setup installizes your Windows XP configuration wait for it to do that. shouldn't take too long, it's just loading a few more files and it's going to restart the computer. So what we're going to do is just let it boot off. Here we have Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. root system32pal.dll probably can't see that there. It says please reinstall the copy of this above file. I did know this was going to happen and I do have a solution to fix it. So we're going to hit the button here to turn the laptop off. We're going to do the same as before. We're going to boot from the flash drive by clicking, pressing the button escape F2 or F12 it most commonly is. We're going to select the Kingston data traveler it'll boot to the data traveler, the pen drive, as you can see and we're going to click the second option which is GUI mode setup continue setup first start of windows so that's what we're going to go through with, is that one as you can see now we have the windows XP screen and it's loading and it has taken us into the next stage of the setup so an exciting new look. So it's install it's installing Windows still. And then it'll finalize the installation. So I will return once this has finished. As you can see it is rebooting. And here I have the error again. HAL.DLL. So what I need to do is turn the laptop off again. By pressing the button there. Turn it on. Oh, sorry, I wasn't quick enough there. So turn it back on again. And we need to boot into the flash drive, the Kingston Data Traveler. Kingston Data Traveler. Now here, we have <coughs> booted into the GUI, and what we need to do now again is the text mode setup, but that hasn't seemed to work, so if we press the exit, and what we need to do this time is just try each one, and keep booting onto the flash drive. And I'm going to try the GUI one again. And here we go. So the GUI one has worked. Now it should boot into Windows XP. If all goes well. It's saying please wait. Because this is the first start up. And it's saying to improve the appearance of visual elements. Windows will automatically adjust the screen resolution. 
so it's going to adjust the screen resolution. So this may be a bit slow as it's booting off of SSD on this model. So I'm going to go on to owner. I have preset this off because it was a preset use it was a preset install of Windows. So we're booting off into it. So as you can see it's slow if you have a hard drive in your netbook which most modern netbooks do have now it will be slower and then check my, out my other videos for tweaking tips to tweak that Windows XP install so it's setting up the settings, personalizing them and we are now in Windows XP I'm going to leave it open and not shut it down as there might be more things it needs to install so basically when you reboot it now it should not need to boot onto the Kingston data traveler so one step we need to do now is turn it off like so so it's saving my settings and shutting down we will need to set the boot priority to boot from the hard drive automatically and not the data traveler so you can do that by booting into your BIOS, which I think this time it's going to be F2 or F12. I'm not sure. Here we go. I pressed F2 and go on to boot in the BIOS. And we need boot device priority. And as you can see, I have automatically set it to first boot device hard drive and second removable device. So make sure it is set as that. I'm going to exit, 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 OK. And then it's done. So we have used a flash drive, which I can now take out. And I do no longer need this flash drive. Using the data traveler. And I have installed Windows XP on this netbook. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe if you like my videos. Head over to roundertech.co.nr for more, and I'll see you in the next one.